Hello everyone, welcome back to TWT. Um, I'm gonna do part two of the vintage Rider Waite Smith tarot deck. Um, and I just went over the major arcanas in the previous video. So now I'm gonna go over the minor arcanas, um, the wands and the swords. And then part three is gonna be the cups and the pentacles, okay? All right, so. I went ahead and did a little bit of some um, organization. They're not in exact order, but I do know that um, I, I organize them based on if they're wands, swords, cups, or pentacles, okay? And whether or not they're major or minor arcanas. So we have here the six of wands, which means victory. Um, we have the seven of wands. Wait, no, nine of wands. Like, yeah, being very guarded. And then we have the three of wands, uh, progress. Uh, four of wands, um, harmony. Something about the home. Uh, king of wands is going to be the last one from this minor arcana. Um, the king of wands is very passionate. And yeah it's a leader okay and then let's see <clears throat> the queen of wands again the wands has to do with the fire signs aries leo or Sagittarius. so the queen of wands is the counterpart of the king of wands um this person is also very passionate and it's a female fire sign um aries leo or Sagittarius. okay and then, uh, let's see, two of wands uh, has to be a choice. Uh, Ace of wands has to do with creative beginnings. Um, five of wands has to be conflict. Page of wands uh, has to do with, let me see. Wow. Um, yes, it has to do. It has to do with excitement. And then the eight of wands has to do with something very fast, either very fast communication or very fast action. Okay. And then the second one is the knight of wands. Um, somebody is very anxious. Uh, somebody younger and yeah, it tends to be very impulsive. And then we have the Ten of Wands, a burden. We have the Seven of Wands, challenges. And uh, now we're at the swords. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the swords. Okay, so we're done with the wands. Um, I have like some mistakes here, but it's getting better. Okay, so now now we're gonna be doing the swords, minor arcanas under the swords, and that would be under the air signs, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So a lot of thinking, a lot of like being in your head. So the five of swords has to do with competition. Um, six of swords. Wait, hang on. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is being stuck in your head. Uh, nine of Swords has to do with a stress. Uh, okay. All right. And then the Four of Swords has to do with healing. And then the Six of Swords has to do with moving on. Uh, three swords is a bad card. Yeah, that means it's a heart, it's heartache or pain. Um, ace of swords. Uh, has to do with a new conquest or victory, or new thought or new th truth. Uh, page of swords. You want to know this person, younger person wants to know. Um, ooh, 
Ten of Swords, uh, some sort of ending or betrayal. Um, Seven of Swords is deception. And then um, King of Swords, making good judgment. Two of Swords is you're torn about two things. So you have to make a decision if you don't want to. So you're like stuck. Um, Knight of Swords is somebody that um, has done your research, has weighed the pros and cons, made the decision, knows what they want, and went ahead and took action. Okay, so yeah, they made their decision. Um, yeah, so we're going to go into sub here. Yeah, we're at about five minutes, and then I'm going to go ahead and, and do the third video which has to do with the minor arcanas, the cups, has to do with emotions and pinnacles, um, has to do with um, hard work and being practical, okay? All right, bye.